All right, what's up, everybody? So I'm going to start this video with a question, and I just want to ask, we know that there's a ton of injuries for the Detroit Lions right now. There are a ton of injuries, and that's not anything new that we've seen um, with this team. It really isn't. It's nothing new that we've seen with this team. So the question that I have for you is, what position do you think we're most desperate at? Like, where do we need to go find help um, for depth? All right. And I think the obvious first answer is running back, but then where? All right. There's some places where we feel really solid offensive line, um, defensive line, linebacker. Um, I would even say now that JMO's back, wide receiver, quarterback. But there is one place where I'm like, man, we could really use a little more depth there. And that's at defensive back. And that's meaning both outside corners and a nickel corner. And the Detroit Lions have a player that is becoming available that I think they should go get. Um, and so here's an article. It says a potentially perfect fit for the Lions secondary is now available. Um, Tim Pelissero reported, and he's a very trustworthy uh, person, that the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to part ways with quarterback Desmond King. All right, who is Desmond King? And then we'll talk about what this looks like and what happened to him. Desmond King is a corner that was let go by the Houston Texans late preseason. He was cut. The Steelers immediately signed him, but then Chandler Sullivan became the team's primary nickel with Patrick Peterson, Levi Wallace, and Joey Porter Jr. taking the rest of the work. Like, that's pretty solid four corners that are there. So they've decided they don't need to keep paying this guy. Desmond King is a almost 29-year-old corner that was a fifth round pick out of Iowa. All right. And he played a lot of good years. All right. So last year, I'm just going to give you some stats for, from him. He had 66 tackles, which was tied for seventh of corners. He had um, two picks. He was targeted 58 times with 42 receptions allowed. His PFF score was a 73 overall with a 72 grade in coverage. Now that was last year. He isn't hurt. He played 511 snaps. Like he played a ton of snaps. I'm not saying he was phenomenal. I'm not saying he's coming into Detroit to start, but right now his PFF grade last year would put him as the number one graded corner on our team behind Brian branch. Now, is he better than Cam Sutton? Absolutely not. And is Brian Branch likely coming back? Yes. But Will Harris is not playable. Teams are targeting him. We got lucky against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because Baker Mayfield overthrew receivers multiple times who got a step or two or three on Will Harris. Now, when Branch is back, great. But what are we looking at behind these guys in the cornerback room? I am getting more and more comfortable every single week with our corners, our starting corners. Jerry Jacobs, especially Cam Sutton, love him. OK, but then what's behind him? Mosley's on IR. So you got Stephen Gilmore. You've got Chase Lucas, guys that have only played special team snaps so far. Khalil Dorsey. OK, I'm more than happy with our corner. I'm more than happy with our corner, but with, with Brian our nickel corner with Brian Branch. But who's behind him? So unless. Unless Desmond King has just forgotten how to play football. After playing so many years of good football, let me just go ahead and I, I'll read this for you. I'm going to give his career in in PFF. All right, his coverage grade for his career. He started with the Chargers, all right, then Tennessee, then Houston. His coverage grade, 86, 91, 70, 61. 2021 was rough, all right, um, 48, and then 72. This year, he's played like 11 snaps, but only one defensive snap. I mean, he's played 15 snaps, but almost all of them are special teams. So that's another thing he can do. He can play some special teams. I don't understand like where he's going, but I think going into, yes, I'm going to say it, the culture that the Detroit Lions have 
could be a good fit for him. Like their defense that goes, they're going to get it done. Um, there's a ton of youth on this defensive secondary, especially at the corner position. He could bring some veteran presence in there along with Cam Sutton. And I think that could be really, really helpful. So let me know what you think. Do you think Desmond King is one of those guys? Um, and it, like, because we're at a point right now where if any corner gets hurt, the best backup might be Will Harris at least as far as what the coaches are going to play. They haven't shown that they're going to play Gilmore in a game. They haven't shown that they're going to play these young guys in a game. Chase Lucas, Khalil Dorsey has been hurt. All right. He came back last week, but they haven't shown the confidence to play these guys. And when you already have, when you have branch Johnson and Mosley all hurt, like that has to be in the conversation. Should we go and get, and I don't think it'd be that expensive. I really don't. They said that they are going to let go or let him go one way or another. That's what this article says. They are going to find a way to trade Desmond King in one role or another. If they can't find a trade partner, they're going to release him. So if I am Detroit, I'm going out there. I'm making that play. These are the things that winning teams do. You go get players that can step up for you in a pinch. Um, you go get players that if you're in the middle of a deep run in the end of the regular season, making a playoff push, trying to win the division, maybe fighting for a home field advantage. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about that. We're talking about home field advantage. Then you are sitting there and you're saying to yourself, okay, yeah, I want to have a player where if we get banged up, cause that's what happens in the NFL, we're already seeing it. So if we get banged up a little bit more, then we have a guy who you can put in there that at least has a veteran presence that's not going to make silly, stupid mistakes and could play. So let me know what you think. And and this kind of makes me think, who like who is a Detroit Lions team that's had a better even secondary than this one? Like I can think of some decent ones, you know. I mean, you got the Louis Delmas days, you've got the, but that was more frustrating than anything. He was always, always hurt. Obviously, Dre Bly, you know, you've had some good players in the back, but or in the back end. Um, but what has had a better all around secondary than this one? And and I do want to talk about this too. Where are you at with Cam Sutton? Because as far as the way he's played, I am very comfortable with him as a number one corner. And, um, cause I think that was the big thing. And the big question for Cam Sutton, wasn't it like, is he a one or is he a two? And if he's forced to be a one, how is he going to fare? And I think he just goes, he brings his lunch bill and he gets the job done. I love it. I love having him there. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Um, like it subscribe. Why not do it? All right. See you on the next one. Peace.